Hello and welcome to my first reactions to Steven Universe Adventures in Light Distortion. There was this one episode of Dragon Ball Z, I don't remember exactly which one it is, but I think Goku broke the artificial gravity on his little space pod when he was heading to Namek. This episode really reminded me of that. Basically, the story is Steven, Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl are headed to the human zoo using that ruby ship that they have just lying around. And in order to cross the enormous gulf of space quickly enough to get to Greg before he dies of old age or something, Steven throws the ship's engine into overdrive, which causes some wacky floaty physics. This episode was pretty neat in a 2001 sort of way. Starting off, there's a really great interaction between Steven and the Gems. They talk about the appearance of Blue Diamond and her nefarious intentions toward Greg. It was all really funny and everyone's well characterized, so just a great bit. When it comes time to actually leave the planet, they get instructions on how the ship works from good old Peridot, who was really on fire in this episode. Her egotistical explanation of how the ship works was pretty darn funny. Also, this episode had a fantastic phrase in it, space turbulence. Great joke, man, fantastic joke. Now, the episode's big central set piece is this reality warping thing that Steven does with the controls of the ship. It starts off kind of funny as goofing with the controls, does really weird things to the crystal gems, like makes them grow, makes them shrink. But then it turns just a little bit disturbing when Steven goes into hyperspace and almost gets himself and his friends killed. Along with, I assume, everyone on the human zoo. Because an object hitting it going faster than light, that, that can't be good. That's really when we get into the best part of the episode, and that's Steven's arc. He starts off really in a big rush to try and get things done. You know, let's go to the zoo, let's do all that stuff, just pounding away at those controls like a monkey. And he comes to realize that, well, he almost got everyone killed. So to sum it all up, Steven Universe Adventures in Light Distortion is a pretty good episode. It's got good comedy, good characterization, an interesting set piece, and a really strong character arc for Steven. Now be sure and come back next time for more reactions and vlogs about Steven Universe. Thank you for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.